What's going on everybody, Kinetubs here with another Mega Man X Dive Weekly Update video. So we are coming up on the anniversary of Mega Man X Dive, and uh, we're going to be celebrating that a little bit here. So uh, first thing I want to say is that I didn't do event coverage last week just because the event, um, the event of that nature is kind of hard to, to cover. Uh, just because it's like it's a time trial uh, oriented things that means I have to do multiple runs of it in order to get the time that I'm satisfied with and then I have to be able to capture that run as well so I just opted to not do it <laughs> um, but yeah that's why there was no event coverage last week um, so uh, X Dive celebrates its first anniversary with Dive Armor X so let's take a look at this now the global version of Mega Man X Dive debuted in the U.S., Canada, U.K., and Ireland on August 16th, 2021. Uh, I think that's probably right. Uh, the reason I say I think it's probably right is because I joined a little bit later. I think I joined in like the second or third week of the game. I know I didn't join on launch because I didn't know about it on launch. Uh, I found out about it slightly afterwards. I don't even remember how I found out about it. I think that one of my friends told me about it. Anyway, regardless. Um... It was a rough one to say the least. The development team at Blue Joy managed to turn things around. However, it took some time to get off the ground, but the game was found its footing among Mega Man fans. That is true. Uh, there were a lot of things that were uh, not that great at launch. Um, but things have gotten so much better since then, which happens with a lot of games, to be honest. Um, so let's just continue on here. Uh, that said, they were getting ready to celebrate the North America server's one-year launch. The other servers get some highly anticipated characters next week. So I guess we're just celebrating the the NA server's uh, one-year launch here. And then when it comes up to the one-year um, anniversary of the other servers, they'll get something special for that, based on if I'm interpreting that correctly. Anyway, um, final details after the break. So right here we can see the Dive Armor X, which is really, really cool. I like Dive Armor X. There's not really many characters I actually I don't like. I'm pretty sure I say I like just about every character in this game. But starting next Wednesday, which was actually this Wednesday because this was posted um, prior to today. Today is Monday, the 8th. Um, Dive Armor X flies into the NA server and global version for the first anniversary of Dive Armor X. First, I can scale is charge cannon dive. Lose any shot to the target. Uh, you may charge for a more powerful shot. Maximum charge, it becomes a laser beam. It can deal 15 times normal damage to all targets in range. As you expect from an X armor, he has a charged shot. Second X skill is, is Nova or analyzing the electronic space signals. Dive armor X turns them into a protective or continuously deals damage to all targets come in contact with. The capsule comes packed with a single free temple, as with most of our capsules for dive festivals. Uh, we'll get a single free temple with this. Uh, that's very, very nice. As well, what's more, the Vias Deep Lock Training Event Stage will give players a chance to earn memories for Rising Fire X, or X Rising Fire version, which is great because we hadn't had that yet, and coupons to activate the Anniversary Celebration Lucky Capsule. It will guarantee the S-Ring character on the first 10 pull and guarantee the S-Ring character on the third 10 pull. So these, I'll get these in the Taiwan version as well for the second year anniversary. Uh, they're basically just tickets, uh, which you can use to get a free 10 pull. Um... I don't know if we're going to get them as a login bonus as well, like we did with Taiwan version. I think they were, they were purple tickets, or maybe they were silver. I, I think they were purple. Like I said, the first one gives you a guaranteed S-rank character. The third one gives guaranteed S-rank weapon. Uh, but it's not... It, it, I, it doesn't include die festival character. Right? It's just whatever's in the normal pool at that time. Uh, that's still great, uh, because more free 10 pulls is fantastic. At the very least, it's patches. Um, you know, and maybe you'll get some new stuff. Maybe I'll finally get Shooting Dragon Buster out of this. Anyway... Uh, less players can buy a coupon to, from the store to activate the limited super character capsule or the limited weapon super capsule. First thing guarantees a die festival character on the 10th pull and the latter guarantees a weapon on the 10th pull. So, okay, so this one, I don't like the wording of this because it makes it sound like you have to do more than one pull. But basically what this is saying is you buy a ticket and it guarantees you a, a feature, not a feature character, uh, a die festival character. Um, a die festival limited character in the 10th slot um, on the pull, or a, a limited weapon on the 10th slot of the pull. Um, I, I just don't like the wording where it says on the 10th pull, because that makes it sound like um, you have to you have to buy 10 of the tickets, but it's just the, it's just the last slot. So like, you know how it'll be like maybe a um, 9A, oh, I'm sorry, uh, 9B ranks plus 1A rank, that, that last slot will be the 
the guaranteed. Now, the thing I don't like about this, that I really, really don't like about this, is that these tickets are very expensive. At least in the Taiwan version, they were very, very expensive. Um, to the point where I was like, I, I'm fine with spending so much. Like, if I can guarantee something I want, you know, I'd be fine spending a little bit of cash for it. But it was like 40 to $50 in the Taiwan version for um, for the weapon. I think it was like $60 for the character. I was like, that's definitely not worth it. I don't think anyone should buy that. Um, But, you know, if you really, if you really want it, I mean, you can go for it. But that's, that is very, very expensive to guarantee a character, though. Uh, that might be cheaper than buying enough EMs to... Actually, that is 100% cheaper than buying enough EMs to get the, um... To get a guaranteed, um, die festival character, I'm pretty sure. Um, and all in one sitting, that is, right? Um, if you're making use of the, of the daily drop packs and spending your EMs, um, in an efficient way or just not pulling it all like I'm kind of doing until there's something I'm willing to pity comes up, uh, then the, the cost for pity is a lot lower than just buying all the ems at once uh but when it comes to the eu server they get the die festival character die festival capsule featuring iris a another and the child of Stream commander stage event uh, we already covered that on the channel uh if you're interested in seeing that i believe that was the event from last week no two weeks ago and i covered iris another as well a lot of several good Die will uh, capsule featuring Rico and the next installment of X5 Maximum Race. Both capsules will come with a, a single free 10 pull. That's good. Uh, let's be playing and keep eyes peeled for the team's dev team social media for some special anniversary rewards, events, and rewards, which are pretty nice. Official capsule images are used for illustrative purposes, may not represent the contents of the capsules. Okay, you know, that, that's, yeah, that's fine. Um, so, what they're saying about the social media is when I woke up this morning, I actually saw a tweet. From the X Dive uh, Twitter account, so let's take a look at that real quick. All right, and along with this, we have the um, we see what's happening in the first anniversary celebration. So um, let's take a look. So first up, Veteran Hunters Assemble returning players. Uh, last login before um, 7:24. Okay, so it does tell you this. It's in really tiny text, so I that's I don't really like that. Um, but they get a free S-Rank character. They get Copy X. Um, I would like to have that for for myself, but obviously I've been playing the game consistently, so they don't need a way to get me back into playing because I'm actively playing the game, right? Um, it does suck that they get 40 memories for Copy X, and I don't, but I'm, I'm still like actively playing and enjoying the game, so it doesn't make that much of a difference to me. If I really want to Copy X, I would have just pulled for him personally but um anniversary capsule dive armor x celebrate the mega man xi first anniversary with the newest dive armor x banner um we get anniversary celebration capsule s rank characters are guaranteed with the anniversary coupons uh yeah i, I think it's the first one though oh no it might be more it might be more might be more i think it's like first um and like maybe some other polls as well because i remember a few of them had that um had that associated with them. Um, so that's good. Uh, we get the anniversary tickets and the new dive capsule. Um, the the new um, the new capsule we just talked about on the Rockman's Corner site. Uh, here, eh, double recharge, more EMs. Uh, I mean, eh, I had so I had made a video about what I would recommend buying from the store, and I just never uploaded it. Uh, this stuff is okay. Um, it's if you actively buy EMs, it's 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 all right. But if you don't buy EMs like hard EMs, like I don't, uh, this doesn't make a difference to you at all. Uh, because I actually still have the the two hundred percent bonus from the last time they implemented it. Because it's after you buy it once, or like they implemented it, and it's yeah. If you if you buy this here, you'll get the two hundred percent bonus. But I haven't bought any because I don't. It doesn't seem worthwhile to buy them to me, to be quite honest. Um, I might still upload that video at some point, but it's right now it's kind of just sitting in like in my folder of other things. Uh, anniversary of login and stage events. So we get the Soccer Rico set records to get the skin in the anniversary event stage. Okay. Um, and the anniversary coupon to get 160 free pulls from daily login and anniversary event reward stages. 
So uh, this is giving us a little bit more clarity on about how to get the tickets. Uh, obviously log in, and it is the purple tickets, like I was saying. Um, get 160, free pull. So that's 16 tickets. Um, because that will allow, because at 10 pulls per per ticket, that will add it to 160 over the course of 16. Um, and then this is saying uh, the, oh God, I forgot the name of the event. Uh, whatever the event I just said on the other page. Um, VS Deep Log Training, that one, yeah. Um, you can get that a reward from, from doing this. That's pretty cool. Uh, Sakura Eco, uh, Rico is uh, cool, but I don't have Rico, so um, if I do manage to get this, I will have to wait <laughs> to unlock it because I don't have Rico. Then we have community events right here, which which is actually pretty interesting. So the dive art contest, create art for the Mega Man X Divers anniversary topic and get rewards. I'm assuming some kind of in-game rewards. Uh, X Dive video contest, uh, create a video about Mega Man X Dive first anniversary and get rewards. Um, uh, maybe we'll find out what those rewards are. Like right here, we see, we see some EMT, some tickets, and we see some gift boxes, but we don't know uh what like the the specifics are for like the video or like how like the how you'll get the rewards or even if it's like maybe like a competition kind of thing or like you know they'll pick the best one of the one they feel the best we don't know and then mega moments write a mini story about your unbeatable levels and how Mega Man has influenced your life uh on un oh, this one i'm not too sure about unbeatable levels uh I, I'm really not sure about that. But how Mega Man has influenced your life, yeah, that's pretty self-explanatory. How the game of Mega Man has influenced your life in general. And then YouTube dev streams. I'm actually really looking forward to this because I brought this up before. Um, another game I played, the City of Final Fantasy Opera Omnia. And there's other games do it as well. Uh, War of the Visions. Um, Final, I don't remember the full name of War of the Visions, but War of the Visions, right? They do that as well. Anniversary update, notes, chat with the devs, play co-op, test yourself in the Mega Man quiz, watch a stream, you get reward codes, which is great. And I, I think it's really, really good that we're starting to do this August 11th and August 14th, because at least for the other games that I play, um, you know, they'll give us like a breakdown of what we can expect for that month alongside with, you know, some rewards for, you know, coming out to the uh, coming out to the stream or doing specific things on stream. And then like the whole community will just, you know, end up getting those rewards, at least for in in Opera Omnia. Uh, it's, you know, do do X amount of co-ops with uh, with the host of the stream and, uh, you know, we'll get like. You know some amount of gems which is the premium currency they use for pulls some tickets some some resources in game as well so hopefully they 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 do that or start implementing that into this stream as well and keep the stream a consistent thing that's really cool i like that um they said we're gonna get reward codes so i'm not sure if it's just going to be like if you're at the stream you get the code or if like they'll tweet it out or something um Hopefully, it's uh, it's more of a thing where everybody can have access to it. So even if you can't make it to the stream, you'll still have access to the rewards. Um, but uh, we'll just have to wait and see on that. And then at the bottom here, there's like, share, and retweet 5,000 times to get some rewards down here, which is quite nice. Um, however, they want 5,000 total. Um, I'm not, I don't use Facebook at all anymore. I haven't used Facebook for years, so I don't know what the thought is going to be like over there. Uh, but right here, you can see, oh, uh, okay, maybe you can't see it in my screen. Uh, but we, we're at about 900 um, total here for likes and retweets. Uh, but we get access to 40 memories for the Savage Tusk of Thunder. Um, we get 300 EMs, 20 armor, um, armor parts, 10 weapon chips. Uh, I'm sorry, 10, 10, 10 chip EXPs, uh, 10 weapon chips, 300k Zenny, and I forgot the name of the star is, um, yeah, I just forgot the, the name of the star, but you can use that for unlocking the hidden skill on weapons, so I guess I will just, uh, like and retweet this right here, and um yeah that's that's pretty nice for the first anniversary celebration rewards here i'm gonna assume like i said i'm gonna assume that uh the other servers i'm sorry the other servers uh the other regions such as um eu latam will get this during their respective 
uh, anniversaries as well. At least I hope they will. <laughs> Couldn't wait if I didn't get that. But uh, that's all for the global side of the update. So let's take a look at the Taiwan side because we actually got information pretty early again. And right here, uh, ZXA Ale double rocks on the Rockmanix dive this week. Now, before we get too far into this, uh, ZX Ale actually was... Um, we've known that ZX Ale was going to be a thing in the game since I think October. Uh, I apparently Capcom Taiwan leaked it uh, by mistake. I just know that somewhere had leaked it. Uh, I wasn't fully sure about it. It's, this came up in a recent video as well um, because of the martial arts Dr. Light and got leaked by them. Uh, but yeah, this has been, uh, this was leaked a while ago, but she just hasn't been implemented into the game until this week. So let's take a look. It's been, oh, I'm sorry. It was Nebula Joy's ad, infamous ads accidentally leaked. Oh, okay. Well, I was wrong. Uh, Capcom Taiwan did did accidentally leak uh, Martial Arts Dr. Light. As well, CS and Nebula Joy's infamous ads accidentally leaked the ZX Ale, a uh, leaked Ale ZX Advent. After a long period of silence, Capcom finally let the cat out of the bag when they published content roadmap indicating ZX Ale would, would take place in August, which is great. Uh, I don't know about ZX uh, because Zero Sierra was really hard for me as a kid. So Little Child Kenny just, it was just like, I can't play these games anymore. They're too difficult. They're rage inducing. Uh, well, time has come. ZX, uh, ZX Advent event has come, and ZX Ale are due to drop this Wednesday from the exact of the break. All right. So ZX Ale's first active skill is ZX Buster shoots an energy run to damage the enemy. Uh, can be charge Can be changed to the flame cannon model or the shuriken model. P. Okay. Using the modifier chips. Okay. Our second skill is ZX Saber triple slash combo ending in a rising attack, releasing energy wave. The wave can be changed to an ice blade model L or tornado model H using the modifier chips. Okay. Uh, she includes HP on capabilities and different buffs when changing attack modes as opposed to ALZX. She stays transformed all the time. Okay, that's what I was kind of wonder. Oh, ZX Ale as a limited character alongside the Tornado Storm this Wednesday. Oh, uh, another limited character. All right, so I don't like the way this is going with the limited characters. Um, although we did just have a, a dive festival, so like... Seeing as a limited character, uh, it's not too surprising. But this is going to be a limited character, much like the base person Mega Man. And I don't really mind limited characters in games like this. As long as they recur semi-frequently, right? Like, as long as they're not, like, a limited, like, one-and-done kind of thing. Um, outside of, like, a collaboration event, I'm, you know, I'm more than okay with them, you know, releasing limited characters. Um, it's good for the global version of the game, because we now, we... We have foresight to know that, okay, if I want this character, I'm going to have to, you know, stockpile EMs until X amount of time, and then I'll be able to get the character off the jump. Whereas on my Taiwan account, um, it's either pull now or wait till it eventually comes back, and we don't know when it's actually going to come back. Uh, but as long as this recurs pretty frequently, I'm okay with that. It's pretty cool that ZX Ale actually doesn't have to transform. Um, I guess it kind of makes sense because this ale is supposedly from a later game in the series. So maybe she has better control over the biometal or whatever. Again, I haven't played ZX. Um, so I don't know. Oh, actually, is ZX even... I don't know if ZX is even available in English for me to play. Uh, it might not be. Uh, I don't know. Regardless, at some point, I do want to play it. But um, anyone that's more knowledgeable about you know about that series feel free to let me know about them down below in the comment section um we will watch the trailer for this right after i go do take a look at dive armor x Alrighty then so here we are on my taiwan account now i could look at this on my global account but uh, i don't know if dive armor x is going to be released with dna or not uh the first take a look at the splash screen here very very nice i do really like how the dive armor x actually is uh, one of the armors from the game um as used as inspiration for this which is pretty cool um in case you were unaware uh, actually i don't remember what level armor that is okay i had to go back and look and i'm pretty sure this is the level 70 uh armor that you can make this is based off of 
pretty sure I knew. I just took a quick look because I didn't want to, <laughs> I didn't want to be like looking around for too long at uh, at this. But let's take a look at the active skills. Uh, charge cannon dive. Once your energy run to inflict uh, about four percent damage to the target, you may charge up for a more powerful shot. Maximum charge it becomes a laser beam that's fifteen times normal damage. The target is in range. Not bad. Okay, so let's take a look at the modifier chips here. Accelerate charge increases our time required to make charge reduced by twenty five percent. Power increase when maximum charge is achieved. The damage rate increases by 10%. And X field at maximum charge. If the first target you hit survives a shot, you create an X field that can damage damages. This can damage damage to the targets within range and gain a stackable damage enhancement status. So that's very, very nice. Right there. So X has a little bit of, um, you know, a self buff in his kit alongside this. Next up. Nova or after analyzing electronic signals, you turn them into an aura surrounding yourself that can withstand 106% attack damage as a shield, which is fantastic. And continuously deals what 92% attack damage to all targets coming in contact with it. So you can use it offensively and defensively, which is always great to have. And alongside that, the modifier chips. Healing or when you cast Nova or restore HP by 28% of your attack, which is fantastic. So not only do you have um you have a shield you have a, a shield that can be used for offensive defense purposes you also have healing which is fantastic i have power increase increased damage rate by 10 percent. i think this is a bit on the weaker side here and then we also have cleansing or when you cast nova or remove all negative statuses you have now obviously this will not work for things like immobilize or skill seal because you can't use skills while you're immobilized or while your skills are sealed but other things like slow, the dot damage from like poison or burn will be cleansed from your character. Or weapon seal um, would also be cleansed as well. So let's take a look at the passive skills next. Uh, first up, we have armor protection, reduces damage taken by 10%, which is great. A preventive shield gain preventive shield that prevents you from all that protects you from all negative side effects when using over aura. Not bad, it just inherent for a shield. So you can see that this axe is built up to be very defensive. Demo dimensional explosion. Well, I don't know why I, I kind of word vomited there, but uh, at maximum charge, when you shoot, you cause explosion along a laser trail to deal damage to all targets within range. That's very, very nice. That's a bit more damage. Uh, that also means that even if they dodge the initial laser, they might get hit by the laser trail. As per usual per X, Buster Mastery, increased damage by 20% when clipping a buster. And then the Nova Aura, or yeah, no, Super Nova. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> the prep time of Nova Aura is reduced by 20% and the distance between the dimensional explosions are reduced so that it's easy to consecutively inflict damage. So that's great because now the low explosions that appear along the laser beam are more concentrated so it's easier to deal with con continuous damage and the prep time for Nova Aura has been reduced by 20% as well. So let's take a look. I don't know if he has DNA. Uh, he might have DNA. He does have DNA. Uh, I don't know if he'll be getting it, uh, when he releases in global, but let's take a look at it anyway for just in case. Buster has ability, reduce damage taken by 20% when equipping a buster. So this is actually great as well because you have 20% reduction here. I have a 10% reduction in the, like inherently in his kit. And then you have your shield as well. So you can see how defensive this X is supposed to be. Uh, Nova Barrier, when when using Nova Aura, gain temporary invulnerability. That's fantastic because that was one of the things he was lacking was invulnerability. So iframes for short. So now he has iframes, which is great. It's only temporarily while activating the Nova Aura. Um, but I mean, that's better than not having them at all. So that you can be in a bit of a riskier position when using your Nova Aura. And finally, Pulse Shock. Uh, maximum Charge Shock will now cause the first hit to become... Uh, first target of hits to become immobilized, which is great. This effect can only be triggered once more after a 3 second cooldown. Um, that's great. That, that's actually really, really good. Because, uh, if you remember, with the, uh, there was a modifier chip. Uh, that if the first target hits, he gets the, the X shot, uh, and if that connects, you get a damage enhancement status as well. So on top of that, uh, the first target you hit gets immobilized, and then you should be able to line up your X, your, your X shot to get the damage enhancement status, the immobilized, uh, the continuous damage from the charge shot as well, which is all very, very nice. 
And for the unique DNA here, we have peace of mind, causing a uh, mobilize or hitting a target that is a mobile resource, 4% HP, uh, HP equals to 12% of your attack. This attack can this effect can only trigger once every 12 seconds. So this is actually very, very nice as well. Um, because uh, this is gives you a constant source of healing outside of just spamming your Nova Aura. So that's very, very nice as well. So you can see just how defensive this X is, so is like built to be, which is pretty interesting because uh, I think his primary defensive aura or his primary defensive uh, armor before might have been the Gaia armor from X5. I'm trying to remember. Um, I don't think Shadow Armor was all that defensive in X6. Um, I don't remember X7 was what Icarus, Hermes, Ultima Armor. I don't remember if any of those were particularly defensive, but I do remember the Gaia Armor is supposed to be one of the more defensive ones and it traded like mobility for that. But um, that's it for Dive Armor. Actually, doesn't have any particular cards. Um, so there's nothing really to look for at that, but I'll go more in detail about what cards and things, weapons to use uh, that might be helpful on him once we do the character overview. So for now, let's go take a look at the the trailer for the newest character coming to the Taiwan version. Alrighty then, so let's take a look at this trailer. Um, the downside with this is, since I'm not going to be pulling for her because my EMs are shot, maybe daily pulls, uh, daily 30 EM pulls, but that's probably it. Um, so yeah, let's watch a trailer. Hopefully this doesn't get me too hyped for her because I'm not too attached to her, but maybe she looks really good. Oh, hold on. Okay, I like this. I like this. Okay, okay. Like that's still kind of loud. Double rock on. Okay, maybe that's why she can stick because she's a double rock on. I don't. I'm not sure what the double rock on actually entails. I like the music though. Switch the cannon of flame shuriken. Okay, she does have healing. Oh, that looks pretty cool. Wait. Okay, say, ooh, okay. Oh, okay, okay. It came back around. I was like, why'd it come from that way? Oh, Pandora. Okay. I don't know what the Storm Tornado is a reference to, though, off the top of my head. Um, maybe Storm Owl? Um, or is it, hold on, is it Storm Owl or Storm Eagle? No, it's Storm Owl is from X4. Uh, that's my first thought, but I'm not sure if that's... I mean, I guess it could be Storm Eagle 2, realistically, because, like, the... What that key does. So, I'm not sure if this is going to be... Okay, no, ZX is limited. Storm Tornado doesn't have the limited offer next to it. Uh, that's pretty cool. Uh, I do... I do like the way she looks. Um, I like the, the versatility she has. I'm kind of interested in seeing what else she has available as well. Okay, yeah, the first time I didn't see the, the ice go off the side and then, wait. Okay, that's just from the, from having the thunder chip, or the, the wind chip equipped to, to have like a, a lightning effect on it. I'll be it. I mean, right now she looks pretty interesting. Which, you know, she's supposed to do because if she didn't look interesting, I don't know how you're going to appeal to other players, but... Uh, yeah, let me know what you think about uh, ZX Ale or anything else coming to, to Global Talent Server this week. Um, I forgot to do Dynamo um, character overview last week. And I like I said, I just forgot about it. I got tied up with a lot of Digimon Survive and some other things. But I will try to get that out pretty soon uh, along with side a, a X, a Dive Armor X character uh, overview as well. Aside from that, uh, I did set up the portion in my Discord, or the section in my Discord server for the character, not the character, the account reviews, if people want to get involved in that, because I did ask a little while back for if people are interested in that kind of thing. So uh, that'll be set up in my Discord server. Um, I'll have the form there, just fill it out, and then I'll get around to it at some point, uh, as soon as I can. Uh, but yeah, that's it for this video, and I will see you guys next time. Later. Thank you.